Hi there, this is a very quick uh, introduction into ranges. It's a great way to visualize your data and I'll go, go straight into it. So here we have some polygons. Uh, they're from the Living Atlas. It's COVID-19 total cases data. It's from the public health um, sort of public feature service from, um, uh, so, sorry, by uh, uh, county. So there's North Yorkshire up there, down there's Kent, and it's got a total cases. So let's go straight into it so you can see the um, effect of using ranges. So I go to properties for the layer and then click on range. I'm going to add a range. Uh, it's going to be on the total cases because I don't I don't actually have much. I don't think I have any in the daily case count actually. Uh, and then um, I'll just do a calculate. You can do you can do a, a, an expression stuff like that. But uh, um, that, that's for you to, to sort of dive in. What, once I've got that sorted um, definition it's total cases so the lowest was 18 the highest 5607 I press add and it creates the range that's that sort of data set or that view of the data what, what you um, uh, could do is add further ranges so I could have a, a list of ranges and go through them I'll just stick with one at the moment so you can get the idea of what goes on press OK and nothing really seems to happen apart from if you look down the right here we've got the slider um, and when I move this slider, you'll see polygons disappear from the map because I'm effectively dynamically filtering the data. I'm now on 556 total cases to see. So I can go right down to the bottom. So there's a low one just outside sort of Peterborough way. Um, and it's interactive. It's, it's still your polygon. So it's Rutland. Well, there's a surprise. That's, that's the smallest county, I th think, in England. Um, so, and as I build, as I build, as I build, I can go and redraw the map. But you, you but you can still um, involve other uh, sort of um, drawing functions such as symbology. So, as I draw these, let's let's go to the higher settings. You see how I'm going to the top. So that where is the highest? Well, it looks like they're all down in that corner, actually, in Kent, and that area. So, but that's that's them. But it's all the same sort of symbology and color, etc. Um, note when you click on the range tab here, there's a whole load of settings. Feel free to play with those. I'm not going to go through those now. There's a sort of like an animation sequence you can do there to play through. So it animates a bit like the animation sort of toolbar and art map and stuff. So feel free to mess about, and and also you would you, that's where you select which range you're interested in, and you can lock a particular range when you're not interested in. But anyway, just play with those. What, what I want to show you is the fact that you can um, uh, go to, actually I'll just do it from here, go to symbology on the layer and say, well actually, yeah, that range thing's great as I draw, but I'd, I'd like them to stand out more. So uh, what I'll do is I'll set a, let's say low, uh, sort of, I don't know, um, yellow for low count to red. Now it's red, I mean, this, is, this map's glowing now. So now, when I, what, what you'll see is it'll now mainly draw the sort of yellowy colours, because they're the low figures, and as it steps through, you'll get the build of the map as the cases go higher in those particular areas, and you can add labels and and sort of, you know, sort of do what you want, and um, uh, if I just um, th th those those play and go through the steps and stuff uh, it that's all on this slider as well you can um, play through and forward etc but anyway that that's it that's all I want to show you. it was just a very quick uh, view that is what ranges do it's very powerful it's um, uh, really um, very useful I could even set like a sort of step here define define one and then just see what sits in that group you see what I mean and that's that's pretty um, cool and you see how in here it says 2275 to from from 1807 so there's the numbers so these are reflected in there so there's that interface and I can just see those steps there you go I hope that's useful to you thank you very much